What's up guys, it's Nimenod back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my Wrestlemania Backlash predictions. Um, there is six total matches on the Backlash, well Wrestlemania Backlash um, card so far. I do not know if they'll add any from tonight to tomorrow before the pay-per-view starts. There's no pre-show match but they'll probably make one um, early tomorrow morning. But let's get down with the predictions. So first, we are going to see the Dirty Dogs defending the SmackDown Tag Team Championships against Rey and Dominic Mysterio, aka the Mysterios. Um, this rivalry is just based off of Rey and Dominic trying to become the first ever son and father tag team champions. As you know, I am a Dolph Ziggler fan, so I gotta be rooting for the Dirty Dogs. And if you notice, um, a little WWE statistic is that the champions... Well, typically not the champions, I shouldn't say that. But the people who win the final match before the pay-per-view, as we've seen Dominic won at Retro SmackDown um, two weeks ago, and then last night on SmackDown, Rey Mysterio beat Dolph Ziggler. Um, so maybe since the Mysterios have so much momentum, maybe that means the Dirty Dogs will win. And, of course, as I said, I'm already a Dolph Ziggler fan, so I am going for the Dirty Dogs end up defeating the Mysterios. Maybe the storyline will continue, or maybe a new tag team from NXT will get called up, and they will start feuding with the Dirty Dogs, but the Dirty Dogs are retaining. Next up, we have in a Lumberjack match, we have Damian Priest taking on The Miz. We've seen this match before at WrestleMania, but with Bad Bunny and John Morrison making a tag team match. But now we're going to see the two main... People in this storyline, Priest and The Miz, face off. As we've seen, um, Priest did end up beating John Morrison on Monday Night Raw this past week, earning him the say-so on what the stipulation for this match would be. And of course, he picked the Lumberjack match. I'm extremely excited to see this match because we get to showcase more of the superstars. I do not know if it will be superstars from Raw and SmackDown or just Raw superstars. But I'm glad that we're going to see more of them on the pay-per-view because I feel like WWE needs to start making more matches for the pay-per-view because six or five matches when fans come back because that's speculated to come back. Um, fans are supposed to come back in July. I don't think it's going to cut for the fans because I think they want to see more matches on the pay-per-views. And I feel like it would be better to have more matches on the pay-per-view. But... Back to the match. This match is going to be great. Can't wait to see Priest go at it on his own against The Miz and not have to deal with the Bad Bunny. Um, but my overall prediction is that Damian Priest will end up picking up the victory in this match. Next up, we have for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Bianca Belair against Bayley. This is Bianca's first title defense ever since winning the title at night one. Well, in the main event of night one of WrestleMania. I'm excited to see this match because these women always put on a great show. They are one and one. Um, Bailey picking up a victory in late December of last year against Bianca. And then Bianca picking up a victory, the SmackDown before the Royal Rumble this year. Um, there's not really many women for Bianca, but I feel like to showcase her as a, um, to start off her reign right, I think it would be great to have Bailey go up against her. You guys do know I'm a Bianca fan, so of course I'm going to be after be rooting for Bianca. And I think Bianca Belair defeats Bailey and retains the SmackDown Women's Championship. Keeping it on with the woman, we are going to have Rhea Ripley defending the Raw Women's Championship against Asuka and Charlotte Flair. Um, this match was kind of similar to what they did with the Universal, not the Universal, the WWE Championship where Braun Strowman got added after beating Drew, but it wasn't, um, Charlotte Flair didn't have to de defeat anybody. Charlotte Flair just kind of walked her way in to this match with the help from Sonya Deville, which I feel like they're going to start putting Flair and Sonya, um, together after this, but continuing on this match. My prediction overall is that Rhea will defeat Asuka. Rhea has defeated Asuka twice, once at WrestleMania and again this Monday on Monday Night Raw, but she has never defeated Charlotte Flair in one-on-one -on -one action. But I think Asuka will be the one taking the pin, and maybe they'll continue the storyline with Rhea and Flair going on to Money in the Bank and Extreme Rules, possibly 
also going to SummerSlam, but Rhea retaining the Raw Women's Championship. Next up, we have our second of the triple threat matches coming from Raw. It's going to be Bobby Lashley defending the um, WWE Championship against Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. This Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre storyline has been going on ever since um, Lashley won the title at, not at Extreme Rules, but Lashley helped Miz win the title at Extreme Rules, I should say that. They faced off at WrestleMania, they faced off this Monday on Monday Night Raw. Um, not gonna lie, I feel like this might be the end of the long storyline. I feel like it might have been dragged out just a little bit too far, but I like how they switched it up with adding Braun to this match. So, I, um, it's not like we're gonna see Drew and um, Lashley just one on one like we were originally supposed to see again. So, I kind of like that they added Braun. Braun is going to add a very, very different dynamic to this match because it's three powerhouses going off against one another and I feel like we've never seen that or we haven't seen that in a long time um I wonder if Mace and T-Bar are going to help e um Lashley uh, against Drew but they've never really gone against Braun well that's a lie um they have gone against Braun so I'm excited to see if they're gonna help Lashley out and if MVP is going to play some mind games. But my overall prediction, Lashley is going to retain the title. I don't see him losing the title this soon. So I'm excited to see how this Lashley storyline continues. Even though I'm not really a big fan of Lashley. But I really want to see him hold the title for a long time. And off to maybe our main event. I don't know if this is going to be the main event. But as we know, Roman Reigns always main events. Um, typical Roman Reigns. But he is going to be defending the Universal Championship against... Cesaro. This match, I mean, so many possibilities could happen. We could see Edge return and take out Roman Reigns, or we could see Edge return and take out Cesaro. We could see Jimmy Uso cost Cesaro or cost Roman Reigns. We could see Jay turn against Roman and cost him the match, or we could see Cesaro cost Roman, or we could see so many possibilities. I mean, this match, even though it's just a one-on-one -on -one match, there's so many outcomes that could happen. Mm, this match is going to be great. We both know Roman is good in the ring. Cesaro is amazing in the ring. I feel like these two have such great chemistry, even though we've never really faced off. Well, we've never seen them face off against each other. But my overall prediction of this match is Roman Reign is going to walk away with the victory, but I think it is going to end in a DQ. And all those um, outcomes that I was saying um, before I made my prediction for this match... All those outcomes could happen, but I think the one outcome that is going to happen is going to be Jimmy Uso is going to cost Roman Reigns, well, Cesaro, basically, this um, match. Even though I think Cesaro, what, even though I think Roman's winning via a DQ, he ultimately still holds the title. And I think for Extreme Rules and um, Money in the Bank, I think Jimmy Uso is going to hold, um, be the ones feuding with Roman Reigns like they did with Jey Uso last year. But that was my predictions for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully some of you guys agreed with my um, predictions in this video. Backlash. Well, WrestleMania Backlash, I should say. Um, don't know why they added the WrestleMania tagline with it. But it is tomorrow live on Peacock and the WWE Network elsewhere. Uh, hopefully it's a great pay-per-view. There's so many great matches. Um, but kind of a lackluster build-up. Um... But that was my predictions. Leave your predictions down in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, champs.